hey, it's uh, been a little bit, at least, you know, for me. I've been on the other side of the planet and back, and man, Japan was such a great time. I really, really enjoyed myself, but that's not what this is about. We'll have plenty of time to talk about that on the 12 hour live stream that's coming up. Now that we hit 20K, man, I mean, by the time of recording this, we're like already about to hit 21K, but thank you so much for all the love and support. It really means more to me than you know. I I, I truly words can't I can't think of the words to truly express that would do the justice needed for what y'all have done for me. So thank you. Thank you so much for all the support. I'll do my best to continue uploading videos that I think you guys will enjoy. It may not always be TF2 every video or something, but I'm sure you'll enjoy the content I make if, you know, you don't mind this old face. But without further ado, um, there is a sponsor for this video, so I'll let the other Jordan go ahead and take care of that. But before we begin the reaction, we've talked about this on live stream if this would happen before, but what if this video was sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends? Yeah, you know the one. It's way past time to see what all the hubbub is about. Raid has over 700 champions to collect from 15 different factions, all with unique skills and abilities that'll come in super handy when taking on the 12 crazy imposing dungeons of the game. They've each got super brutal boss fights that'll take every bit of strategy you can muster in order to take them down. And hey, to be honest, the same can be said of the game's PvP combat too. Whether it's in Classic, Tag Team, or even the newly added Live Arena, you can rise through the ranks and prove yourself the strongest. Battling players from around the world is so much fun man. I think my favorite aspect is probably the customization though. So team comp building, character building, and strategy execution is my jam. And there's over 400 million players in over 190 countries playing the game, so there's always people to test your metal against. I think all this leaves such a positive vibe for me because the game actually gets content updates, new modes, new quality of life features, and so much more, man. It helps a lot that with Plarium play, whether I'm playing on PC or my phone, I can always keep my progress. And hey, Raid just added a crazy new boss fight against Akumori the Phantom Shogun. This undead general is guarding everything you need for the Accessory Ascension, a new feature that allows you to upgrade your gear to be even more awesome. And speaking of awesome, have you seen the animated limited series Raid Call of the Arbiter? I don't even want to spoil it, you gotta check it out. And hey, you can watch them for free right now on Raid Shadow Legends official YouTube channel. With all this exciting stuff coming to Raid, if you haven't started playing yet, then what are you waiting for, man? Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses, including the epic champion Talia from the Sacred Order faction, alongside some other helpful goodies like energy refills, a skill tome, and an EXP booster. Once you're in the game laying waste to all who oppose you, come find me in the game under the name Kingdom Ace. And if you're fast enough, you can join my clan. So check out the link in the description and I'll see you in the battlefield. This is how it feels to play Demo Man in TF2. This one is super, super highly requested ever since I did the very first Lazy Purple video. Again, this video is by Lazy Purple, which you can always check the original link out at the top of the description box. But man, I am super excited for this one because y'all were hyping this up. So many people telling me this is the best one. So without further ado, let's freaking check it out because man, it's going to be hard to beat like the pyro one and, and stuff like that for me. <laughs> oh, and yes, I know it's Sam and Max. The original thing was just a joke. <laughs> People still commented. <laughs> oh, shoot. You can air blast that? No. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's mad with power. <laughs> Yo, hold hold up. Does Medic always have that that uh that haircut? Hold up, he need to say what's good to the barber. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, 
you that that first person perspective just then <laughs> when it was like <laughs> that reminds me of like a horror game or something dude oh my goodness bro get me out of here Ugh. You know what you just did? Do you know what that was? That was a recreation of a competitive clip featuring a very brave pyro and the reality of how quickly an uber demo man can cut the enemy team in. Ooh. With that lucky sticky kill on the scout and the quick switch to grenades, I'm able to blow up three players and leave a fourth one fending for his life. <sighs> man. I gotta see, no I gotta watch demo competitive TF2 or something. Really powerful. Throw some sticky bombs over here and toss some pipe grenades over there, and before you know it, boom! Skadoosh! Blue team gone. Dang. Out a new player as Mr. Only Has Projectiles, and you Hold better up. be prepared to cover your ears. I'll never get over playing TF2 in VR. I don't know if that's going to be a video. I did a stream of that. Shout out to y'all that were there. But Demo Man just seems like so much harder of a character since then. I have not played regular Demo Man since that stream. And I need to go back to him because I loved playing as him. Uh, the learning process for Demo Man looks something like this. Spamming stickies with the no sense of timing while relegating the grenade launcher to, uh, you know... Emergencies. Oh, I feel like it was opposite for me. And this strategy can work to an extent because, let's be honest, having eight explosives loaded in one gun is kind of ridiculous. Oh, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Uh, guys, do the Geneva Convention supply to video games? <laughs> But uh, <laughs> can't be detonated for 0 0.7 seconds after shooting them, so don't be surprised if sticky spamming gets you killed by every other scout. I don't usually kill morons this fast. Soldier. Jeez. Sniper. <laughs> I feel like you should just use nades if they're that far away. Oh my goodness. Squad. Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, don't tell me Lazy Purple just animated freaking Scout doing the light skin lip bite, bro. Don't tell me he animated Scout doing the light skin <laughs> lip bite, bro. No, bro. No, you can't do that, bro. Some things are not meant to be realize there's something some ideas have to stay in the drafts bro <laughs> no 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 bro no no you don't do that you don't so do that <laughs> do we give up no we just do it better as long as you stay about this far away from the action, at this point where your stickies travel the entire length of their arm time, you should be Ooh. free to go on a rampage. Oh, that's nice. You just gotta keep the distance up. Oh my goodness. It just makes everything so much easier. This distance puts you in control and ensures that you'll never have to do anything difficult ever again. That's beautiful. Oh, some point you're gonna have to learn more than sticky spamming but don't yeah. worry there's a reason these things are designed to stick either yeah, traps dude zelda Woo! Bam. i did the thing you know <laughs> zelda fan <Frenzo. laughs> <laughs> man's ability to control when stickies explode provides perhaps the most consistent source of kills in the entire game I'm sorry. I know nobody cares, and I, I hate that I keep pausing, but I know some of y'all will let me know y'all like that. But dang it, Lazy Purple is so freaking cultured, bro. I love hearing his music choices and stuff he picks in these videos because, one, they're always perfectly, like, toned because I, I'm not going to lie, I, I kind of suck at that kind of thing unless it's, like, scripted or something like that. I'm, I'm never that, I've never been that great in the past with picking the perfect music for certain moments and stuff like that, you know, unless it's 
purposefully cinematic, you know, but Lazy Purple legit always knows what to do. And literally like the race music from Ocarina of Time here, that music is perfect for this moment, bro. The, obviously the context doesn't matter with this scenario at all, but dang it, the music works, dude. He's so freaking cultured, bro. Lazy Purple definitely seems like the kind of dude I'd love to get in the Discord to call it just chill. The Sticky Trap. Not only can you easily lock down a choke point with a sticky bomb launcher, you can then reload the damn thing and be ready to pick apart the pack of panicked perpetrators after. Crazy. But there's more oh. to it than just dumping stickies on choke points. You can store Is there? damage anywhere. Hey, Red Team, that was a great overcharge. Can't wait to see the next one. <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> some unsuspecting snipers lay down two stickies at once so they can't even respond to the detonation. And if a medic so happens to walk into them, that's an epic oh. sticky trap. Put some distance between <laughs> you and those stinky scouts with just one Sticky. Just one sticky. What? Does this count as a sticky trap? You probably can't kill somebody, which is one. Is every sticky bomb its own trap? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the secrets of the universe. You weren't supposed to realize that. The power within each sticky bomb. Yes. <laughs> Oh. oh, the nightmare. Look at this. I know the extras video is supposed to be like over half an hour, which is definitely has to be its own video because, geez, uh, I know, I know that's gotta have been. Oh. The very idea of a trap is subjective. Good. This mind opened. Oh my goodness. Second eye. Yikes. <laughs> I get it now. That's the beauty Maybe he needs to open up his second eye before he opens like, his third eye. Come and don't detonate. It doesn't matter that these stickies were meant for this spy. They're the perfect trap for this rocket jumping soldier I was totally expecting. <laughs> <laughs> These haven't missed until you detonate them. No choke point, no problem. You're right. Enough stickies and enough patience, the entire world becomes Stop. one big choke point. Stop it! <laughs> All this sticky trapping seems almost too good, right? But with how vulnerable. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's almost too good, right? Oh, all right, I'm all right. Here. Oh, this sticky trapping seems almost too good, right? Okay, now there are two of them. What kind of sticky trap is this? <sighs> is, is it safe? Can I keep it up? Oh, all this sticky okay. trapping Whew. seems almost too good, right? But with how common no, no. it is to being bum rushed, I think it's fine to reward Demo Man for seeing it coming. Ah, oh, clean. <laughs> Wonderful. Of course. That was so raw. Him just themselves. on the throne like that. No, scout, you scared me into detonating too early. Ah! A good sticky trap demands your full attention. In, in other words, Demo Man is designed to have tunnel vision. Ah! What? That's right. The class with one eye has tunnel vision. Deep lore. Bro. Setting up an important trap in the heat of the moment, Come it's not on. realistic for me to turn around between each sticky and reset my crosshair. In other words, if I'm gonna get stabbed, mother of mercy, I'm gonna get stabbed. Yeah. Uh, he, spy dude, spy, like, okay. Spy and Scout were absolutely the biggest problems I had. Those of you guys that would see the streams when I was playing Demo Man a lot, they were absolutely just the biggest problems. I I, I, I'm gotta assume they're like the hard counters to like Demo Man. Maybe uh more so spy than scout personally, maybe, but I felt like it was always dealing with a spy because I like the tunnel vision. It's snipers for a minute, the last thing you want is to become your own worst enemy. I mean, okay, I don't know if it's just me, but after growing emotionally attached to some carefully laid sticky no. trap, <laughs> What is with that smile? Oh, I struggle to pay attention to anything else as I play with one hand behind my back for 40 seconds getting nothing done until I finally say fuck it and randomly detonate. Somehow killing a horribly unfortunate spy. 
You appear to have trodden on the mine. Mm. I am the spy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I know his program crashed. Oh, I know it. Is that when it comes time to push forward, you may be given a choice. <gasps> no, I can't detonate here. It's too early. Not now. I'll die for sure. But my team. <laughs> but I deserve to live. If I die. <laughs> if I die. No. 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 <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's all your fault. You should have just detonated it. Down. I can't keep relying on this thing, man. Sure, it's consistent, but it's so slow. Mm. What if I need damage now? If death Ooh. stares me in the face, then you if know my what to do. Are launched, there's only one thing to rely on then. Oh, yeah. Boom! Boom! But, oh my goodness, you gotta have aim though. Or trajectory. There you go, there you go. I live for pipe grenades. The thrill Ooh. of trusting your instincts and saying, I don't care that you have a medic because I'm just gonna hit three pipes in a row, all right? See you later. Goodbye. Oh my power goodness, how do you hit that? One heavy after the other. Granting them the power of flight while accidentally killing those around them. I think they said you have to aim for your f the feet the with them only. That the only way I'm getting out alive is two clean pipes. Hitting Ooh. two pipes on scouts ain't easy, but it always kills, even if they're over healed. What? Denied. No. No, 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 no. no, no. no. It did not just perfectly tie my healing crossbow bolt in between my two pipes. He did not! Hello, yeah, police, I'd like to report a robbery to guarantee the second pipe. Do your best to shoot the first one at their feet. Hello, officer. It'll this man. It'll right up for an easy twofer. Okay, Heavy, are you sure you want to play this game? This doesn't tend to work out for you. Oh, dear. It appears I have underestimated my opponent's critical thinking skills. Was I previously overestimating my body's ability to effectively move around corners? I should take note for the future not to chase explosive wielding enemies around said corners, as they naturally have a sizable advantage due to not requiring a direct line of sight to deal bodily harm. It certainly does not help that I am at my most sluggish while revving up my gun, a precursor to shooting aforementioned gun, and therefore killing my enemy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, shit. Shooting for the feet can be a gamble, but when it works, so oh, oh, it works. Cause baby, you're all... Ooh. Oh, oh literally. Feel amazing because you can't take a single one of them for granted. You never know when even that scoped in sniper is just gonna get up and move. Yo, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking, I missed on purpose! It's a joke, I'm friendly! What? No, no way, dude. The difference between living and dying, and almost every time it comes down to intuition. It'd be one of those days, man. When you're in the kind of fast-paced situation that calls for pipes, there's no time to ask yourself questions about air strafing or hitboxes. You just shoot. Kaboom. Okay, it's I think we figured it out. Intuition. How do you do that? Intuition to your sticky bombs, and it won't be long until you're landing one-two punches like it's nothing. But how does one access all of this intuition? Exactly, like that's my main thing. My best advice is. To oh no. The sticky jumper. A sticky jumper. I think I have this actually. That allows you to do incredible triple mid-air jumps, forcing yourself into Whoa. the enemy base so that you can get in as much practice as possible. Uh No. It's beckoning. No. I don't need you. So that you can get in as much practice as possible. Ooh. Ooh. Remember that pipes are best aimed at large, unmissable groups, so keep an eye out and... No. There's no uh -huh. way you... Large, unmissable groups, so keep an eye out for those good opportunities. Uh, and, and never underestimate the element 
The dude, what's the these bottles around? No, 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 I don't need you. No! Oh, no. I seen what it did to the epic scout. Ooh! Dude, the way he edited that is beautiful. There's no way he's doing this, bro. There's no way this team let him get away with this. There's no way they let him get away with this. Ooh. That's right. It's my job to destroy these sentries and these sentries and these sentries. Yeah, they just keep coming. Am I seeing okay or is that a lot of engineers? Man, yeah. Of engineers, I... Oh my Bye. goodness, the scoreboard. Uh, the, the, the thing that I can't fucking get. All right, and listen, because this is this is serious. Oh, a space bar fast forward for you? Sentries that don't More Zelda. Any purpose. Ocarina of Time boss music. People off guard. You're not even defending anything. You're just, you know, the scout. The scout walks by. He goes, "Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm, Is this Majora's Mask actually? Playing the game. I'm Brain. Fun. Ooh. That's not fair. But engineers aren't gonna stop building these things until people this is stop mask. walking into them. All right. So please, I'm begging you to just check your corners and never let these engineers get away with this. Oh, come back here. Okay, thank, thank you. Oh, this century is just mean. All right, I will be no. that you suffer for this. Oh, <laughs> too much. You know what? I don't want to be too mean, but you engineers have to know how. Dead you are. Oh, That's true. Man can just take control. I feel bad for this guy. Honestly, I'm. Oh sorry. my Give goodness. <laughs> that is crazy. That's a real battle. But I've got to send a message. Oh no 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 no! This engineer has the dispenser, teleporter, all the setup I can have. Oh, that. and the Uber. I'm sorry, oh no! I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah. You picked the wrong Wednesday. <laughs> the extra man. That's exactly what it's like. That's, uh oh. That's the one. That's fucking engineers, man. They don't have a chance. Wait, did he not get the heavy? I thought that was sad. Just went to hear about <laughs> the dispensers. These holy. These holy. Oh my goodness. I told you, bro. You didn't need the bottle, man. It's so easy for Demo Man to turn them into death traps. I mean, I almost That's feel crazy. Bad. They go to this back to this place that is supposed to be safe and give the heels, but and little they know. No, I terrible. I'm sorry, it's just <laughs> what, what really rubs. Oh my in the goodness, room. bro! D d dispensers don't move. <laughs> Why not? So, uh, let me explain. The uh, the grenade, the pipes. The, the, the downside of the pipe, the grenade launcher, is that uh, it's hard to hit moving targets, right? Homie is struggling, bro. Move. And not only that, everybody likes to be around dispensers. So you shoot the dispensers and whoa, what a surprise. Everybody oh my goodness. Died. Beautiful. It's poetic. But no matter how you twist it, I'm gonna always be there, engineers. I'm gonna make your life as hard as I can. You can run, because you can hide, you can try to save your buildings, but I'll that's, be there. Because that's I how you play Demo Man. You have the high ground, it doesn't matter to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, uh, hold on then. Maybe a little bit there. Your team actually cares about him and his positioning and his base, and that's gonna be a problem. Whoo! 
I'm gonna need a medic, and to talk about that, I'm gonna need some coffee. Stop! There you go, something decent. Ah. So, yes, Demo Man can trounce sentries all day long, but sometimes he needs help, and sometimes our German friend is not in the mood to cooperate. If we can get to Fall Duber, I will destroy all sentries and more. Okay. No. no huh? Hold it! Ugh, the then how else do you expect to get through multiple century nests? <laughs> Another oh, Phoenix please, Wright I moment. I assure you the jury is waiting with bated breath to hear it. I am putting all of you negligent medics on trial. Just watch. I yell out, medic, to get his attention. Medic. Now, we're starting it simple. I then say, hit it, Doc, and charge it, Doc. He looks me in the eyes after <laughs> I say this. He keeps his beam on me and keeps looking at me. According to page 14, section 4, <laughs> subsection 3 of TF2 etiquette, this officially means we have bonded, which, according to subsection 3, means he has to Uber me. I then cannot oh stress my enough gosh. that he kept his beam on me unbroken for the entirety of the remaining 16 seconds. Then, and can we get the footage on this for the for the jury to see? He, he had to be new. In direct response to me taking my first steps into danger, disconnected his beam, leaving me for dead. He definitely had to be of new. The jury, I was baited. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> even leave spawn the heavy dies immediately why medic why i can be fighting the entire That's crazy. enemy front line with a fully charged crits medic behind me only to turn around and see i understand ubering a heavy on the objective but i swear half of these guys are just trying to reenact meet the medic what are you doing why? I have no idea that's exactly what they were trying to do In all seriousness, Demo does need a little help in most altercations since he's not well, that's why he's got a team. meant to be taking them. Uh, uh, anyone? Anyone at all? Hello? Please how? Help to turn around? This is real freaking embarrassment. Yeah, I know. Yikes. Demo Man is an absurdly powerful damage dealer, but if someone wants him dead, it's not it, that hard to find an opening. Yeah, that's what <laughs> really started getting me. I want you to remember that Demo does have some shortcomings as I proudly display this ridiculous clip of me defending the last two feet of payload by safely stuffing an uber charge with preemptive stickies, insta-killing a crits heavy, then destroying a sentry along with the engineer building it before going ahead to accidentally kill someone, intentionally kill someone, and finally out snipe us carrying God, I love Cru this class. crazy so lay some traps hit some pipes but most of all make sure someone oh. there regrets picking engineer Woo! what was that name another minecraft scene he now he's he's there with them who was that? Oh, okay, let's go. Into it, lad. Sir, yes, sir. You're doing good, lad. Affirmative. Right. Yes, they got a little house now. Nice. Wonderful. What? Looks like y'all could use gravity. No. Oh God, my head is killing me. Help! Nah. Please. I guess that'll do. Okay. Thanks. That's nothing. Oh, hello, engineer. I love you, man. Yes, hey, NG, exactly okay. who they need. Within a few weeks of uploading this, I'll have a behind the scenes extras video uploading. Oh, no. all sorts I of know that had this to video be crazy. Is not sponsored, but I have rolled out a Teespring. <sighs> oh, hold up. I'm going to have to get some Lazy Purple merch. Dude, that was a great one. I can't, I, I don't know which one I liked more. I feel like the highs of the Demo Man video outmatched the the Pyro video, but I feel like the Pyro video had me going crazy more. I don't know. It's been a while since uh, I did the Pyro, the first Pyro video, but 
that was a great one. I can see easily why that was a lot of people's favorites. And I'm even more excited now to see the extras because I always love the extras. Like I say in those videos that like, it's really cool to see the behind the scenes stuff and what it takes to make it because I love seeing the finished product and stuff like that. But I always think behind the scenes when I see something made, maybe it's because I'm a creator as well. So the creative process behind the finished product is often in the forefront of my mind when I see something finished. So I'm super excited for that one. Ah, man, thanks for watching this one. If you haven't already, hit the like button for your boy. It really does mean a ton. Uh, why don't you leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It'll let you know when I go live with more TF2 or any other reactions, movie reactions, uh, and it'll let you know when a new video goes up um thanks again for to raid shadow legends for sponsoring this video i know we, we've talked about it on live stream and stuff before so much love to them for going out of their way and sponsoring sponsoring the channel after that so thank you all so much for watching my name is keenan mace remember everyone to play some games have some fun and enjoy your day today